is not fine All the people ain't happy And the river has run dry You thought you could go free But the system is done for If you listen real closely There's a knock at your front door You'll never get free Land up to the slaughter What you gonna do when there's blood in the water The price of your greed Son and your daughter, what you gonna do when there's blood in the water? When there's blood in the Okay, so I did it. I hit a 500 pound deadlift. All right, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Okay, I guess I have a little bit of explaining to do. For instance, where have I been for the past three weeks? Or how did I hit a 500 pound deadlift all of a sudden? Also, why does my hair look so bad? Yeah, wow, yeah, that does not look good. So, since my last video, I got pretty sick with the flu and I wasn't able to go to the gym consistently for a week and a half. And when I got back from being sick, I found myself really unmotivated to go to the gym. I really fell off the wagon in terms of my progression, not only in deadlifts, but in everything. So for deadlifts, after my last video, I decided to switch fully to sumo deadlifts because I assumed that my ceiling would be a lot higher that way rather than conventional. Um, and it did feel a lot better on my lower back, but I came back and I was very, very weak. So last time I hit a 475 sumo deadlift, but since then I have only been able to hit 455. And when I do, I it's max out RP10, like really, really tough. And while my lower back was feeling a lot better, my hips were feeling way worse. And it got to the point where I was only able to hit deadlifts every other session because my hips were feeling so uncomfortable. Mind you, I wasn't hitting heavy weights. I was trying to hit 415, 45, and I was only getting three because I felt so fatigued. But every single time I went in, I was trying something different. I was changing my foot positioning, changing my grip. But a week ago, I decided that I hadn't hit 455 in a long time and I tried, and I failed. And after that, I got so mad, I switched to conventional, and I just, I just went for it. And it felt great. I realized that hitting sumo all this time had helped me with my hip mobility and my hamstring mobility, and so when I switched to conventional, it was putting me in a much better position. Plus, I got used to having a hard time getting the weight off the floor, as you do with sumo deadlifts, and when I switched, I was, far more explosive than I had ever been. So the next time I went in for a deadlift session, I decided that I was going to warm up up to 315 pounds with sumo deadlifts and then switch to conventional from 405 on. And everything felt perfect. There was no back pain, no hip pain, uh, and the weight was just launching up. So with my new Inza Forever belt and some ammonia, I put on 500 pounds on the bar and I hit it. It felt like nothing. It felt like what 405 usually feels like. So I got a little cocky and I 
took off the 2.5s and put a 10 on and hit a 515 deadlift the same day. What I realized was working with lighter weight and with no expectation of hitting these heavy numbers for the past two and a half weeks had allowed me to be a lot more flexible with you know trying new things and when things didn't work out and things felt not so great I didn't have any risk of injuring myself and that gave me the time that I needed for my lower back to heal and to just recover after every workout. So I guess the big question is where do I go from here? You know, I'd love to hit 550 or 600 pounds on the deadlift, but I don't think I'm gonna be focusing on that right now. Uh, I definitely will not be doing a road to 600 just because I want to focus on hitting 315 on bench and also 445 on squats, both of which I think will come pretty soon within the next few months, if not, next few weeks but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna be uploading on this YouTube channel anymore I have a transformation video coming out pretty soon and if I do anything cool I will be sure to take a video of it and post it here so yeah if you guys have any questions or want me to cover anything in my next video please DM me on Instagram uh, my handle is down in the description and subscribe if you guys want to see more and I'll see you guys next time